This week, all aboard the E3 hype train. Welcome, I'm Adam McDermott, and this week's episode is what I want to see from E3. Next week then will be uh, what I don't want from E3. <coughs> Motion controls. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, point to note before I start the video. The Last Guardian? No. Okay, I don't care about rumours. I don't care about speculation. You're not included in the video. Not included. Uh, you've burnt me too many times in the past. So until that game is actually in my hands, I'm putting it into my console, I'm not even going to believe it's real. Even if a release day is announced, that can be delayed, okay? So you're off the video. So we'll start off with uh, my most anticipated game for pff, the next year or so, Uncharted 4. Naughty Dog have went through quite a bit of turmoil over the last couple of months with people leaving and for reasons unknown basically. They need a strong showing at E3 and Uncharted 4 should deliver. I am anticipating something incredible. We had the teaser where you didn't get to see the characters. I want to see Nathan Drake in next gen glory. Next gen? Is it current gen? Is it time set current gen? I can't decide. Uh, the PS4. <laughs> I want to see him on the PS4 and millions of polygons and beautiful scenery. As in Uncharted series on PS3 was beautiful. On the next gen, current gen, on the PS4 it's going to look incredible and I can't wait. I would like if they showed actual gameplay but I'll settle for a trailer and a release date. I'm not expecting it to come out this year. Probably not until maybe spring or summer next year, but just something concrete that I can build around and schedule things. <laughs> uh, the next thing I want to see are new IPs. I know I said I was highly anticipating Uncharted 4, but I also want to see something new. Something that developers are creating, which I can look at and say, yep, that was not even possible two years ago. There just wasn't the physical specs on the consoles to create something this vast, this impressive. Um, I also want to see some more of Cyberpunk 2077. That The setting of it alone is quite intriguing. That was announced with a teaser trailer about eight months ago, so I think it's due for a bit of a reveal or a re-reveal. Now it is time to show a game that will truly make people go, yep, I'm getting a PS4 and I'm getting an Xbox One because I need that. There are a few studios that have been quiet in regards to what they're working on. Guerrilla Games have been working on this new IP for two and a half years. That could be something to look out for. There's an awful lot of studios that have just been tinkering away, keeping their heads down, but I'm sure we're going to see a big reveal. So I, I know there's going to be stuff to just blow people away. It's going to be great. And finally, I want to see live demos, as many as possible. A great trailer for your game can put your game on the map, but an incredible live demo can make your game the center of it. Watch Dogs did this a couple of years ago, and while it may not quite live up to the hype set by that live demo, it certainly became one of the most anticipated games of last year, and then when it was pushed back, it became one of the most anticipated games of this year. At the time of recording, the review scores aren't out yet. Let's hope it can deliver on what was promised, or at least, show a lot of potential in terms of what could do for its sequels. I don't just want to see live demos by the big AAA games either. I want to see as many demos of small indie games, games that are unique and interesting and take risks that AAA games simply can't. Games like Rhyme or The Witness, games that look like art come to life. That is what I want to see more of as well. And that is that for this week. So in conclusion, I want to see some Uncharted 4, I want to see some live demos and new IPs. Be sure to let me know what you want to see in the comments section down below and you can check back next week to see what I don't want from E3 and we can collectively bash all of the not so great moments from uh, our mecca of gaming. <laughs> oh, so thanks for watching and until next time, take care.